Hey Virgos, welcome or welcome back to the channel. So I'm going to be doing a head-to-head -head conversation with the person you're either dealing with or that you were in a relationship with. So we're going to start off with what's going on with human love, picking up some energies mutually or within your energy Virgo or um, and a reading, okay, between the two of you. All right, so let's get started. So me going ahead and meditating on the energy, I'm getting that someone is extremely petty. This is someone that could either go tit for tat or this is something that you could have done in the uh, past or is going on right now. But there's some type of energy that's extremely petty at this time. If you haven't already subscribed, why haven't you? This is a platform where we can spiritually um, stick together to either find reason to move past the situation or to understand yourself spiritually here. All right. You don't have to be a Virgo to be subscribed to this channel. This is all about positive energies, healing, and um, just sticking together in love. Okay. In spirit. All right, so um, I did shuffle the cards here, and like I said, I got some petty energies, but also I got um, someone could have a connection with someone chemistry-wise. I'm also getting here, uh, someone could be picking up some type of connection with internet, or it could have something to do with internet. We also have acquaintance, so someone could be invited to a listening party or a club event here. I'm getting uh, projecting. Someone could be projecting their energy onto you so that you could feel the energy of them um, being attracted to you here. We have a fake friend befriending your friends. So someone's trying to build connections within your circle, okay? To get closer to you or to piss you off. I told you, someone's in this very extremely petty energy, all right? I'm getting that someone that is a earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, that may invite you out somewhere to a club event or a listening party, whatever that may be. We have socially awkward, where someone has a hard life or awkward um, interactions with friends. We have officially single. So I'm getting here that someone that's officially single is trying to mingle in your circle to maintain connections or to get back at you, to talk to someone that you are friends with. We have family doesn't like telling friends or family their relationship issues. So I'm getting here that someone that is an earth sign or has earth in their chart is telling friends or family, their relationship issues, which is allowing a family or friend not to like you, okay? This is someone that whenever something happened between you and them, or this is you telling someone about this person, this person doesn't like your person, or someone doesn't like you because of what they told them about you, all right? We have friendship growth. So someone that was socially awkward, could be branching out and learning more about themselves through being friends with you or you could be maintaining new friendships with people you could have a new circle okay so virgo i'm seeing new person love interest so you have a new person coming around in your energy i also have safety urgent message so there could be an urgent message about this new person that's that you're in love with or that's in love with you or a love interest or this person. So not only do you have this petty person from your past, but you also have a love interest that's interested in you. So it would be interesting to see the dynamic between all three people. You may not know this new person. This is something that could be coming in for you here, but I am going to get into the love energies for you at this time, Virgo. And this is a timeless reading, okay? 
So this can uh, relate to you in the past, in the present right now, or in the near future. Okay, go ahead and hit that like button. And you can virtually support me or virtually gift me by pressing that button. Or you can go to my PayPal and virtually gift me there. All right? It's all up to you. No pressure. All right. So, Virgo. Let's see what's going on for you in love. What's going on for you in love currently? So we have Hammer, Not Enough, and Grim Reaper. Those are the cards that were dealt. At the bottom of the deck, we have Heart, heart with a Key. So some of you could be welcoming love at this time or wishing or manifesting this in your life. I am getting that some of you need to open your heart in order to receive love. Okay? But there's a lot of energies about not wanting to or not having enough or feeling frustrated in a relationship that you got rid of. So loud. Sorry about that. But I am getting that someone could have self-sabotaged the connection that they're trying to rebuild someone's persistent on working on things or things getting better for themselves or for the connection i am seeing here that you could have been frustrated with a person that wasn't giving equally you feel like you were contributing more effort than this person or vice versa all right the relationship is over. No second chances. Grow and transform your life. So there's a Grim Reaper energy. And I'm getting here that someone is definitely over it. And I think this person is you here. So we're going to get into the conversation. All right. There's a lot of hurt from your past. And I feel like you may be in this energy, Virgo, of what's the point. Even though you may be doubting whether you will find love you still feel like there is a little ounce of, you know, positive energy towards finding love here. It's like you're done, but you're not done. Okay? So let's see what this conversation conjures up here for Virgo, whether someone you're dealing with currently or someone that you were with in the past or something that you'd like to say to someone. Let's see what this conversation is about. Let's pick up the receiver. We have the Ten of Swords. These are illuminating cards, so it may be hard to see. But we have the Ten of Swords in reverse. Some of you may be dealing with an air sign or someone that has air sign in their chart. Okay? I'm getting that you're getting over some hard times here. I'm getting you may have been stabbed in the back countless times that you're trying to, you know, push forward from. What's this Ten of Swords in reverse? I'm hearing I'm tired of it. I'm growing. We have the High Priestess. So I'm getting here that you are in the most intuitive element of your life. I'm getting that you could re be receiving downloads. I'm getting you have a higher power from the higher power. What else? We have the Tower. So I'm getting here that something kept you from receiving some type of insight or information about something here. Something is in delay. Something didn't pan out or is slowing down for you. Yeah, I feel like the delay or delays that are happening in your life is because of someone that was very near and dear to your heart. This could have been a friend, a lover, a family member here for some of you. I'm getting Six of Cups energy. I feel like you're like on the receiving end saying, you know what, because of you, I have not been able to move forward. But now I see the High Priestess. Some of you are reminded of the good times that you shared with this person. Some of you could have known this person um, from your childhood days or your school days here. Or someone you could have grew up with for some of you. What's the Six of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy? 
what else do you want to tell this person? You have the nine of wands to the side. Some of you are afraid, but you're also coming into knowing that you shouldn't be afraid of, of, of being over something or something becoming a stalemate situation. You're, you're actually going to accept that things haven't worked out. And that's what you're moving forward towards. Yeah, <laughs> three of pentacles. You're showing the effort of moving forward. Yeah, some of you are releasing your feelings or emotions for this person. What else for your conversation? We have the king of wands, fire energy. So there's a fiery energy for a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. There's a lot of passion. Some of you may be passionate about learning, learning more or what you've learned or taking away from the situation. Yeah, because you're very intuitive. You're an empath, okay? Someone may be watching you uh, move on. That's helping them grow and helping them learn. Yeah, you've learned that you couldn't stay stuck, so you had to leave Six of Swords. What else for Virgo on the receiving end of this conversation? We have Ten of Cups. So you're working towards having happiness, a, a happy family life, uh, new love, okay? The Ten of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck, I see that you're very successful. You're someone that um, embarks on ambitious, um, creative opportunities and endeavors. Some of you are making money, like you guys are going to be rolling in dough. Some of you are working towards getting a bigger home or bigger space. For your family some of you are enjoying um uh a, a newborn here okay with the world card i am seeing that something isn't over there's some type of unfinished business before things are are completely done but there's ego in the matter someone is jealous here because you decided to stand up for yourself and not be the wounded warrior but the Seven of Swords, there, there was a lot of uh, lying, cheat, cheating, manipulating energies here. Let's get one more bonus card. One more bonus card here for Virgo on the receiving end of this conversation. Okay. So we have the Hanged Man in reverse, the Knight of Pentacles, and the Shadow Side. And the magician so there could have been some type of spell work here i'm getting here that someone is hung up over you and it's taking them some time to come forward so someone's doing some magic or spell work to keep this person trapped okay someone feels like they're being held against their will like they want to leave but they can't leave type of situation yeah someone here that they're working with or um, are dealing with a karmic is afraid that this person may go back or have a, a, a better opportunity with you, Virgo. So that's why it's taking this person so long to come towards you. Okay. Let's get this up and running. This person wants to call in to let you know how they're feeling here. What's going on for your person, whether you're dealing with them right now or not. So there's something hidden. Somebody could be afraid. Someone could be afraid of the potential. Someone's afraid of a third party either saying something or something ending here. All right, what's this moon? Okay, so this moon is a lack of change. Someone's afraid that something will, will not change. That something may just stay stagnant or the same. What's this wheel? I'm getting Taurus energy. I don't know, Taurus vibe. Something about a Taurus's vibe. 
What's this wheel? They have the Ace of Pentacles. So something that, that kind of felt like there weren't any changes or there is a dynamic of stagnation comes in with new blessings, beginnings, opportunities, rebirth, things of that nature, the opportunity for a career. I'm getting that good news or opportunity is coming in. I just heard what's good for the goose is good for the gander. <laughs> if you guys know what that means, then you know. Someone is like turning into the emperor overnight. Someone has things going for them. It's like someone's on the hook for something. Yeah, the six of wands. Yeah, there's some type of success in some type of endeavor. Okay, so they got shit going on. This could be a Pisces, a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, a fire sign. So we have the two of cups. Okay, so there was some type of something that was hidden, secrets, um, person, and that caused a a, uh, a hit in the relationship. What's this two of cups? Please clarify for the person on the receiving end of this conversation. Okay, so we have the six of pentacles. So a separation took place and someone needed to move around. Okay, Six of Pentacles. Someone had to keep it pushing, had to allow the momentum to keep riding. They didn't have any time to stop because stopping would have allowed them to stop and think. So someone kept something moving in motion here. Six of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Okay. What else? Or this person okay so someone is a little jealous okay someone's a little jealous and and focused on whatever it is that they're entitled to all right or that a feeling of entitlement here I'm getting that someone is jealous or obsessed with let's see what's this Queen of Pentacles to the side okay so someone here is jealous at the fact that you kind of moved on without them and very quickly or without um, hesitation or feeling here. Yeah, I feel like someone either talks too much or seen too much here, but there is justice or a judgment in the matter here that's going to allow things to be balanced. what else we have the empress so someone feels out of balance even though they're manifesting some type of um, rebirth or something like that someone is the emperor but feeling hurt so they're taking time out to release whatever hurt they feel and confusion to have peace what else for this person on the receiving and what is it that they want to say what is it that they want to let out? Okay, so we have the Queen of Wands here. Jealousy, envy. Um, they feel like you kind of, you know, let them go, betrayed you. And that's what keeps them in this Four of Swords energy. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This person feels like, you know, they should release you in order to, to become the, the head man in charge or the head bitch in charge here. Yeah, I feel like it hurt them to know that they had to go this route because it's not something that they wanted ultimately, but it's something that they had to do. We have the high priestess and the sun. So someone got spiritual enlightenment that they, they're not happy. Their egg is unequally yoked. What's this uh, sun in reverse? Some of you may be dealing with a Leo. Yeah, we have the devil. I think that this hurt and pain that they were left with because of a separation that took place is what's going to 
um, allow this person to feel like, okay, then I will be the devil. You guys paint me as this devil. I will be the devil. I will stay in this, um, this toxic situation, but there is judgment in the matter. We have seven of wands in reverse. So someone feels defensive or on guard about this, this ending that took place and doesn't feel strong enough to um, say that they're, they're over this or that they aren't satisfied where they're at right now, okay? So someone could be reaching out to you on social media or someone could see you as the star or you may be meeting someone online here or talking to someone or getting to know someone online. Take this as it resonates. Yeah, I feel like there's some type of new beginning in a home sense. Someone could be redecorating. Someone may be just um, finding somewhere new. Someone could be going to a new home. Someone could be moving. Okay, so we have judgment. Someone knows that they made a mistake and they want to right their wrongs. Somebody wants to right their wrongs on your end. Yeah, this person can't do this without you. They, they, they're they realizing that they can't do life without you. Let's see what your response is to that. What is your response to this? What is your response to this person on the receiving end? What do you want to tell them for Virgo? We have the, seven, the six of wands that you're doing all right. You're good where you're at, okay? With the five of wands, you still wanna make peace even though you're good where you're at. Yeah, because it's gonna bring in a lot of happiness in your family life or your dynamic, okay? With the ace of cups, you feel like you've, you've accomplished what you needed to so that things don't um, go downhill, all right? Yeah, but you're still going to maintain your distance from this person with the ace of swords in reverse. Yeah, you don't want to get close to this person, but you do want to at least make peace or let bygones be bygones so that you can move on in happiness here. All right. So that's what I have here for your current messages. Hopefully it resonates. Be sure to like, comment and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in my next one.